You're watching Ruroni K95's anime review on the 1988 anime OVA Appleseed. Hi Ruronis, this is your pal Ruroni K95 here. Today's anime review, I get to cover an 80s anime OVA that came out in 1988 around the same time as Yurisei Yatsura Movie 5, the final chapter for today's anime review is Appleseed. Appleseed is a Japanese cyberpunk-style OVA adaptation of the manga of the same name, which is the anime, because it's created created by the manga artist who worked on Ghost in the Shell, Masumune Shiro. The anime takes place in a non-determined future. The anime pr was produced by Gainax, which is known for which will, is known for even Neon Genesis Evangelion, Otaku no Video and other animes that were made by Studio Gainax. Yep. Departs greatly from the manga's storyline sharing only the characters and setting. Besides, because I had to look back on my previous anime review on the 2004 Appleseed, but, which I've already covered that, but I have to discuss about the 1988 OVA that came out in the 80s, which I wanted to review for the first time because I haven't covered an OVA from the 80s especially for the 1988 anime OVA which is Appleseed which it doesn't get any better than this like I did with my previous anime review on Outlanders which it all has got to my mind that's why just to get the ball rolling that's why so let's review this anime OVA so after World War 3 the general magnet Management Control Office constructs an experimental city known as Olympus. It is inhabited by humans, cyborgs, and bioroids. But for bioroids are genetically engineered beings created to serve mankind. They oversee all the administration duties of Olympus. Olympus was meant to be an utopian society, but for some it feels like more like a cage. Charon Mautholos, an Olympus City police officer, is one of the many who feel that way. Yeah. Charon secretly conspires with a terrorist named AJ Sebastian to destroy Gaia, a supercomputer that runs various utilities and networks of Olympus in the progress. Out to stop them are Olympus City ESWAT, which is shortened acronym under the name as Enhanced SWAT. What is up with character? What is up with names that are shortened as acronyms? But anyway, so the team members Dionan Canute and Barrios Hecton Archiris, whatever you want to pronounce it, in the 1988 anime OVA Appleseed, however. Dunan and Bar Bria Rios are determined to stop the terrorist plot by any means necessary. Yep. AJ Sebastian and Sharon have plotted to disable Jaya, the computer system which controls Olympus infrastructure, including the override circuits which safeguard multiped cannon. To do so, they stage a raid on the facility where bioroids are created, creating havoc by killing and by arson. However, it is discovered that the attack is just a cover for stealing information on one particular bioroid. Yep. Hitomi, a friend of Dionan and Brarios, whose DNA is the genetic key which will cause Gaia to shut down the locks, are a handful of kiosks uh, scattered across the city, and the city director orders all, one but destroyed, and a heavy guard placed around the one which remains. Sebastian converts to his full military configuration and steals multi-pet cannon while Sharon, wearing a Katomos suit, which has been made faster through the removal of half of the armor, takes Hitomi to the one surviving Kyosik with his faster suit. He is able to get her to the portal through a half a, a, of gunfire, 
which goes through the decreased armor as Charon dies. A terrified, confused Hitomi hit backs into the Koisik, launching the shutdown process to cover his theft of the multiped cannon. Sebastian uses the tank and its weapons to cause damage in the city, while the director and Dunan rush to try to restart Gaia by destroying the circuit module which keeps the system offline. However, Dunan's pistol is damaged and her sh right shooting hand is injured by the databank and system. So the director hands over her own pistol, trusting Dunan's skill more than her own, with an unfamiliar weapon and shooting left-handed. With her last round of ammunition, Dionan is able to hit the module with pistol fire and Gaia immediately disables the multiped cannon. When Sebastian is killed, Sharon is mourned and life goes on. Yep. So that's the review on Appleseed. So for the characters, however, in the anime Appleseed OVA, Barrios had Hecaton or Cheese is a cyborg, mostly human, but enhanced physical strength and integrated head helmet with multiple camera eyes. The most obvious feature are the long sensor antennae, which resemble the ears of a rabbit, which but which holds th such things as camera eye, which allows him to see around the corners without exposing himself. They are hinge at the base and move in response to Barrio Barrios mood. His name was mistranslated as Bularios in the English dub, especially if it was to the original Japanese dub of the 1988 Appleseed OVA anime, that's why. Junan Knute is a na natural human, however she is skilled operating her uh, Uja's model ladmate. An exoskeleton armor power suit more powerful and responsive than the standard police issue, Kadamos landmates and the only type that, she, that can take the punishment which she gives. So, the character Charion Mothalos, a natural human like Dionan, is a friend of hers and Berarios, uh, but he has become disenchantment with life in Olympus following the suicide of his wife. An artist who felt stifled by the pre programmed environment, Charon becomes bitter and believes that it is his duty to free natural humans from his, this unnatural, unnatural, unnatural environment. A.G. Sebastian is a foreign cyborg with enhanced strength and interchangeable limbs whose mission to, is to steal a huge flying armored tank called the Multiped Cannon and to deliver it to stri a strike force which flies across the border in support. Yeah, those are the characters that I forgot to mention in this anime review on Appleseed as well as the previous as it was to my previous anime reviews in the past as well. Of course, the actor Although the English cast in the anime OVA Appleseed it features L Larissa Murray, M William Roberts, Lorelei King, Alan Marriott, under credited name as David Reynolds, Vincent Marzello, and Julia Brahms. However, for the Japanese cast in the 1988 Appleseed anime OVA, however, is Masako Katsuki, Yoshisada Sakaguchi, uh, Toshihiko Sawada, Toshio Furukawa, Mika Doi, Noria Wakamoto, Mayumi Sho, Yuji Mitsuya, Kumiko Takizawa, Tamiyo Oki, Yuzuru Fujimoto, Mariyuko, Kenichi Oda Ono, Takao Oyama, Nobuyuki Furuta, Ma Masayuki Omoro, Yasunori Matsumoto, Koji Ta Otani, Yosuki Akimoto. Yep. Speaking of Toshio Furukawa, however, yeah, the 1988 anime OVA of Appleseed features Toshio Furukawa in this OVA, anime OVA. He's known for anime he has done, such as Brave Raiden, Magne Robo King, Wasuki Robo Dangard Ace, Future Robo Daltinos, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table, Trider G7, Mobile Suit, Gundam, Dr. Slump, and Arale Chan, Yurusei Yatsura, Saikyo Robo Daijoa, Armor Fleet Dairugger XV, Combat Mecha X Bungle, 
Galactic Patrol, Lensman, the Kabocha, Wine, Fist of the North Star, Mobile Suit, Zeta, Gundam, Amitsu Hime, Maison Koku, Pat Labor, Sailor Moon, Super S, Cutie Honey Flash, the Big O, the Big O, Detective Conan, Kennedy Chief, Case Files, Holes, One Piece, Shinzo, Samurai Champloo, Keriro, Gunso, Eureka Seven, Tsubasa Reservoir Chronicle, XX Holic, Tetsuko, Notabi, Soul Eater, Bleach, Hunter, X Hunter, Space Dandy, Saint Seo, Mega, Tsura. Ritama, Mushishi, The Next Chapter, World Trigger, Ushio and Tora, Mr. Omatsu, uh, he's also known for the voices Piccolo in the Dragon Ball Z series as well. He also did other anime OVAs like Lupin the Third, The Plot of the Kafuma Ch Clan, Bubblegum Crisis, Crying Freeman, Mobile Suit Gundam Unicorn, Mobile Suit Gundam The Origin. He also did... Yurusei Yatsura, Beautiful Dreamer, The Kabocha Wine, Na Nita no Ajio Monogatari, Dr. Slump and Arale Chan, Hoyoyo, The Treasure of Nanaba Castle, Yurusei Yatsura, Be Third, Remember My Love, Yurusei Yatsura, Only You, Dr. Slump, Hoyoyo, Space Adventure, Mobile Suit Gundam, Encounters in Space, Mobile Suit Gundam, Soldiers of Sorrow, as well as he did the 1986 Fist of the North Star anime OVA. Odin, Photon, Sailor, Starlight. He also does other animes such as High School, Kamenage, Yurusei Yatsura, Always My Darling, and Pat Labor, the, the movie. He also did the Dragon Ball Z movies as well for Toshio Furukawa, especially for anime. And he also did in live act. He also appeared in live action anime movies such as The Red Spectacles and Shinheke Monogatari. Forgot to mention that in live action movies and television series. He's also the narrator for Tokosu Sentai Dekaranger as well. Forgot to mention that, especially for anime for what Toshio Furukawa appeared as well. So for so Chris Ber Everidge of Mania gave the, uh, the OVA a mixed review, stating the plot through the simplistic does work fairly well as a side story for the manga. Paul Jocks, from, also from Mania, also gave it a similar review when comparing it to the 2004 film, which I've already reviewed, stating the original release has a better, slightly better script dialogue, uh, less one-liners than the 2004 version as well. But the lacks of this backstory that to make you care about anyone, the original version never engaged me emotionally as the 2004 version did, where the areas the 2004 version pulled me for, in with pathos, the original repels me with Odekia's swearing and out-of-lift feel plot twists as well. Helen McCarthy in 500 an special anime movies stated that although the anime, it's showing its age, it's worth showing the worth the shelf space. She criticized the English translation, however, and noted that many of the Greek names are rendered in the gib to gibberish rather than English. Sounds kind of ridiculous to me. Paul Thomas Chapman of Otaku USA criticized the plot from an animation stating the animation is laughably limited in places and the story isn't particularly engaging, especially for the as the anime OVA from 1988, such as Appleseed, I guess. So that's going to be for my anime review on Appleseed 1988 anime OVA for today's anime review. You guys, thank you for watching, but before we go, here's my thoughts on the Appleseed OVA. Looking back at my previous anime review on the Appleseed 2004 film, I wanted to review the 1988 a Appleseed anime OVA for the first time, which I haven't done until now. Hope to subscribe for content my anime plan link in the description down below. You can share this video on your Twitter, Facebook. If you have a Twitter, Facebook account, and all social media, be sure to give this video a thumbs up by clicking on the like button on this video. Feel free to leave it in the comments in the comment section below in this video if you like. Be sure to subscribe to my channel, RoniK95. Feel free to join my channel, especially if you're new to my channel. Hit the notifications below button. Be sure to get notified in your emails on the updates. And keep it otaku for this anime review on Appleseed. And I've got another anime review coming up for th tomorrow. Stay tuned for tomorrow's anime review. I get to cover an anime movie for tomorrow's anime review, with, starting with Neon Genesis Evangelion, the end of Evangelion. Stay tuned for tomorrow's anime review on Neon Genesis Evangelion, the end of Evangelion, because you won't want to miss another anime review.